Yo, what's up, YouTube? This your boy Chaney Live coming at y'all with another vlog once again. Uh, to, on this particular vlog, man, I want to talk to y'all about credit, man. Okay? I want to talk to y'all about credit. You know, a lot of people got credit mixed up, man. It's so many people. It's more people with bad credit than good credit out here. You know what I'm saying? And it's a reality, man, that people kind of don't have the concept of what credit really is, okay? Most people think that credit is something that you use when you don't, when you run out of money, especially credit cards, for example, you dig? So people will say, oh man, I ran out, okay, I need this, I need to get this fixed, okay, I'll put it on the credit card. And then when I get paid, I'll come back and I'll, you know, I'll pay the credit card off, okay? That is not what credit is for, man, okay? Credit is simply for building a, a, a report card on your ability to make payments, man. Okay, credit is not is not to be used for stuff you need. Credit is to be used for stuff you don't need. I'll give you an example, okay? This is how you use credit, man. Credit, for one, <clears throat> anything that you need, you should be you should be using cash, okay? Money your own money okay you know money should be in the bank okay for the people that i did a video about budgeting you know you can look at that video but this is not about budgeting this is about credit okay the way you're supposed to use credit man is simply to build it to to build your score it's a uh, it's to develop all it all it really is, man. It's giving you an opportunity to to, to build up um, a history that will come in handy later on when you want to buy a house, when you want to uh, start a business, uh, and when you want real quality assets. I'm not talking about like buying a car that lose value. I'm not talking about anything that lose value. Anything that doesn't build value. Okay, credit is strictly for the things that are going to to increase in value. Okay? But in order to get your credit to and now this goes to people that don't have credit. This is goes to people that have bad credit. In order and this is for people that got good credit too. You know what I'm saying? But um, the only time you use credit for stuff you don't need is just the, for the purpose of increasing your score. You never use credit for fun. You never use credit because you ran out of other money. You should, for one, you should never run out of your own money. Okay. It's only to build history, man. Okay? It's only to build history. Now, this is how for people that have bad credit and for people that don't have any credit that want to develop credit, this is what you do. Okay? Let's let's start there. All right. You take your savings, which you already have savings because you looked at the last video on budgeting, so you already got money put aside, okay? But what you do is you take $200, $300 out of your savings and you go and get a secured credit card, okay? A secured credit card. You give them $300, they give you a credit card for $300. It's really your own money, but you're not going to look at it like it's your own money. You're only using it to develop, a to, to build up your credit score, okay? So... When you have that card, okay, you never want to use more than 30%, okay, of what the credit limit is. So if you have a $300 credit card, okay, you only, you do not want to use more than $100, okay? So 
with that being said you use that hundred dollars okay now when I first got my first credit card okay I didn't know how to use it okay I had to learn from being in finance how to use it okay but when I got my first credit card I would use the thing and I would pay it off then I would use it and I would pay it off I'm like look if I use it and pay it off use it and pay it off I'm building credit not exactly okay because credit is showing your ability to make payments over time that's what credit is so you do not want to use your credit card and then pay it right off you want to use your credit card and you want to make your minimum payments okay you want to pay in order for it to reflect on your credit report you want to at least be paying on it for at least six months okay as a minimum I like to pay longer than that if I'm in a position to do so okay so you want to keep paying okay the only time I use my credit card is when a balance is getting low and there's nothing else to make payments on I'm like oh snap I paid it off so I gotta buy something else let me go online and see what's in my cart that I've been waiting to get that I could get that's only 30 percent of this uh, this uh, credit limit okay but like okay uh, I wanted to get uh, uh, I wanted to get whatever man I mean it don't matter what it is you know what I'm saying but you know I'll get something and then I'll make payments on that you know what I'm saying that's how you do it I never used a credit card because I'm out of money I, I all I all and, and you should always have more money in your bank or wherever you keep it okay it don't have to be in your bank but you should always have more money than what you have in credit like credit is not extra money you know what I'm saying credit is strict is is, is, speci is, is specifically for building history okay and this history is what you're going to use for it to start your business everybody wants has a goal everybody has something they want to achieve everybody has something they want to invest in okay this is what you use credit for okay so you get the secure credit card you use 30 percent of that you make payments on that okay you've done that for six months get yourself another one payments on that be like oh what can I buy oh you know my wife wants this my husband wants this let me get them a gift you know and next thing you know people start getting gifts throughout you know and I'm like it's not my birthday why'd you get me this be like I just wanted to get you a gift because I have to I have to use this stuff I, I have to get you I have to get something in order to continue to cr create credit history you know what I'm saying so I make payments on that make payments on that make payments on that you know what I mean get another credit card you know now if you don't have any sense of financial discipline I don't encourage you to get a whole lot of credit cards do one at a time you know what I'm saying once you've mastered one get another one once you've mastered that one get another one by the time you've mastered the third credit card okay somebody is going to send you a credit card you're not even going to need to it's not going to be secured okay you're not going to have to put anything down on that credit card because they're going to see oh this person you know they they discipline they got good history i'ma just send them a credit card offer boop 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 bam give them a call yeah i'll do it give me your credit card man I'll take your credit card. Get that credit card, okay? Now that credit card, because you've done well with, with a $300 limit on, on two or three cards, that credit card company may approve you for freaking what? Dang. You know, $500. You may even get a $1,000 credit card, okay? And then you do that, right? Get yourself a Versace robe, man something you know what I'm saying I don't know what you want 
Get yourself some red bottom shoes, lady. I don't know what you want. I don't know. It don't matter because you can get anything you want at this point. All right, because all you're doing is you're using 30% of whatever the credit balance is, the credit limit is, you know, your, you know, your, your total credit value for that card. Okay, so now you're getting yourself something like that, you know, whatever that is you want. Then you're making your minimum payments on that. Make your minimum payments, make your minimum payments, man. You'll have like, then somebody else will send you another one. Then, okay, you know, so now, you know, I, I try not to go over like five credit cards, six even, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, at the, but at the same time, to make a long story short, I only use the card to keep a balance on it. Once I pay the card off and it's zero, I'll buy something else. But I make sure it's 30%. I'm like, hey, what is my credit limit now? Oh, we upped your credit limit. You started off at $300 with us, but because you paid so well over a 12 month period, we upped your credit limit to $1,000. Okay, so $1,000, I only wanna use 30% of that, so what can I buy for $300? Let me see. I already got stuff in my cart. Like my cart, and this is just an example. I got stuff in my cart just waiting. You know what I'm saying? I could get the stuff in my cart right now, but but that's for, that's for somebody that has poor financial consciousness and judgment. You know what I'm saying? I put stuff in my cart that I know, okay, this is the next group of things that I'm going to buy. And every time something important comes up to mind, something that I want, I add it to my cart, I add it to my cart. So my cart may have be at like $300, you know what I'm saying? And it's just sitting there and it's just waiting. You know what I'm saying? Do I have the money to get that stuff now? Yes, okay? But that's being financially stupid. Okay, all right, we're not going to be financially stupid. We're going to be financially smart. So then when I pay off the credit card, I need 300. I'm like, okay, go straight to the card. Bam, all right, make a purchase. Get my packages, get all my stuff, my Torino brushes and all that stuff, like stuff I love, you know what I'm saying? Um, bam, got that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But that is how you build credit, okay? Now, with all that aside, Okay, understanding credit is more important, man. Okay, credit is not extra money. It's all to develop a record, okay, of your ability to make payments and be consistent in life, man. Okay, that is what credit is for. Okay, I don't use credit to go out to dinner or go to the club or go shopping unless it's within, unless I got a Z, I done paid my balance a zero. I need to spend $500 on something to continue to make payments on. Then that's when credit is for going out, going shopping, going to the club, going, doing this, doing that, having a good time with the, with the credit card. You dig what I'm saying? But it's only for that. It's not to replace your finances. It's not to replace the money that you're supposed to have in a bank. It's not to replace your income in any way, man. If you have this idea, man, and if you incorporate this, this way of thinking about credit, man, you will have excellent credit, bro. Okay? Uh, young lady, woman, whoever, you will have excellent, excellent credit. I mean, immaculate credit, man because you understand that credit it's not a, it's it's man it's i don't know man i don't know how to explain it man better than i already explained it get you a secure card to start off with 30 percent do not go over 30 percent man make payments on that 30 percent when it's zero out 
Use 30% again. When that zero out, use 30% again. Meanwhile, they're going to be increasing your thing like crazy. And then another thing is, let's say your credit card get up to like $5,000 and you can just go buy something for $1,500. Be like, well, I do need a new laptop. You know, I do want to put some rims on, the, on my vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that whatever the minimum payment is that it is going to be comfortable for your budget because you could have five credit cards man and you're and after you make all your minimum payments in a month it may you may only be spending like a hundred dollars to a hundred and fifty dollars a month man on five credit cards that's reasonable that's not too much to ask for if you got five credit card, if you got two credit cards, right, and all you pay is fifty a month, that's reasonable. But whatever you do, do not spend over thirty percent of of what's available to use on that card. Okay, do one card, take you some two hundred dollars, put it down as a, and get another secure card pay that for a little while, get you another secured card. Next thing you know, you un you in the realm of unsecured cards. You don't have to secure anything. Your history is your security. They see your ability to make payments and keep your balances low and they are going to be willing to give you more money. And then whatever you did in the past for the, for my people with bad credit, whatever you did in the past your new path and your new uh, uh, pattern is going to totally wipe that stuff out. Okay, it's, event, it's going to be, it's going to eventually go away. And then there's other ways you can get rid of some of that old stuff, but we'll get into that later. The, the most important thing is that you get started on the right path, man, to, to develop and build your credit, man, and start moving in the right direction. So that's it, man. That's all I'm going to give y'all today on credit, man. It's a very important topic. Um, it's, it may make or break us as a people, as a society, as a country, and as a, uh, as, hum as, hu as humans. Okay. All right. It's time for us to, to be on point, man. We can't trust and count on anybody else but ourselves so since we know that this is just credit is something that you need to get on when it comes down to having making big moves in life it's important that we master it and that we do it right man this your boy Chaney live man just coming at y'all with another video again it's been a pleasure Please subscribe to the channel. We have a whole lot of, of great things in store, man. We got things on the move. I want to give my mom a shout out, man. She got me this shirt right here, man. She, she went out to, to Vegas, man, had herself a good time. I said, mom, get me a shirt. She got me a shirt, man. So shout out to mom, dude, for the shirt. I love you so much. Uh, I love y'all too, man. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this journey. We got moves to make. We 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 we, we doing it, man. We going places. But this your boy Chaney Live. I'll see y'all on the next vlog, man. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. And uh until we meet again, out.